Good morning, everyone. Today I'm doing just a quick update, pretty much, and I'm trying to be more real in my video. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to edit this nearly as much as my other stuff. So what I wanted to talk about, a few things today, some stuff that I'm working on for the channel. So you may have seen that I got one of these little earth bags here. It's called the Earth Dolomite. So I'm working on a little vlog kind of demo thing with this bag that is coming soon. And that's not too edited either. And I don't want it to be. I don't want to be too overly edited. I want to come across more real. That's one of my struggles is trying to come across more real. And now that I've started scripting more of my videos, I feel like it's coming across a little bit less real than it used to. So I want to get back to that, get back to my real stuff. And yeah, just for the record, this isn't scripted either. So it's just, just me talking. Um, all right, so talked about the bag. This is kind of also a message for all of my subscribers. Oops, sorry, my phone is dinging. First of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who's joined the channel in the past few months. I did a little short on this a couple minutes ago um, in my <laughs> my time. Um, yeah, I, I feel like I haven't said too much to you guys recently. Um, I think I made a post about thanking you all for joining and I think it was maybe that was around 400 subscribers. We're now over 500 subscribers, which is huge for me. And I've only really just, you know, in the last few months, put the most effort that I've ever put into my YouTube channel. And I think that's kind of reflecting on the amount of people that are joining. And um, I'm able to put about out a lot more content now that I've focused, I'm just focused on it more a lot more um, and it's a huge in interest of mine to be able to kind of work I guess as a full-time content creator because I one of my favorite things to do is make videos here's my problem like I love to make videos I, I it's hard for me to niche down you've probably seen the channel kind of go back and forth a little bit in, in a couple different directions it's hard for me because I don't know maybe a lot of you have this problem too there's so many interests that you have behind the scenes that you want to post about and share about and you you start to get paralyzed because you start thinking oh no well my channel's not really about that so I can't post it like I can't share that and it's weird like I don't want to be restricted like that maybe some people want to do that and are happy to do that because when you do that you're kind of creating a a very specific brand around that topic, I guess, like a niche. People talking about niches, going down niching. Um, going down niching? What does that mean? Niching down is usually what they what they say. So yeah, I I don't know. I find it very I ha find it very hard for me to niche down because I there's just so much that I want to share. I don't know why I want to share all of it, and I don't know why. I want to do all that, but I, I just do. So I think I kind of realized for myself that I really want to share the things that I love to share. And if that means my channel is kind of mixed, then that's going to be the case because I didn't want to get into YouTube to like make it feel like a business, if you know what I mean. I just wanted to get into it to make it feel like I was sharing something useful, which I feel like I try to do most of the time. But some other stuff kind of becomes like entertainment on my part. And I like doing entertainment stuff too. It's not like I I don't like doing that. That but that's what I mean. Like I I'm so multifaceted in my interests and stuff that like I, I like making skits. I like doing videos about products that I love or that I'm interested in. I think in the beginning, I fell into this trap as well. When I first started YouTube a couple years ago, or 
when did I first, I don't remember when I very, where the very first moment I started working really hard on the channel, but I think that I started just posting to post stuff to like get views, I guess, or something like that. I liked creating, like the creation part is fun for me. So it's not like I'm just after views. I, I like the creation and I like doing the video, but there wasn't any real direction. I was just posting about products that I, that I was buying myself and getting. And I realized that for me, I think it was too much focus on those things, like specific items. It wasn't enough about me because I'm the person who bought it and I'm the person using it. I'm not always or shouldn't always be trying to appeal to the person who just wants the product because that's not I realize that that's not what I want to do like I want to help a specific type of person I guess and after a lot of reflection I realized who I do want to help and I think it's important to realize that's just something important you should realize is trying to know who your audience is. A lot of people talk about that and I get it when someone says, know who your audience is, you're like, oh, fuck, I really don't know. Who, who the hell is my audience? Like, who would want to watch this? And I guess a lot of business-minded people, you know, that's the thing you think about. But if you're just posting for fun, you're like, oh, not fun, but you know, you want to you want to make a, you want to make a business kind of out of it, but you don't want to look at it like a business. Probably, I feel like it doesn't make sense, but I, hopefully some of you get what I'm, what I'm talking about. Okay, sorry, I'm getting away from myself a little bit, but what, what I'm trying to say is that when you realize who your audience is, it's kind of like, I guess, a relief in some sense that you know where your video should be going or kind of what you should be focusing on. But for me, when I realized that, audience poor, like thing, when I realized who my audience was, it wasn't just a relief, it was also, I felt like I could become more true to myself. It allowed me to, I guess, step into the person that I was wanting to be. I don't know how to, how to really describe this, but let's just take my thing, let's just take my content that I wanna post, for example. So. I, there's a couple things that I really love. One of them is Guild Wars 2. You've seen this on my channel many times. I stream it all the time. Holy shit. Someone's slamming something. Um, yeah, so I, I stream Guild Wars 2 all the time. I do a lot of Guild Wars 2 videos. I, I really love to share content about Guild Wars 2 and help people with that. I'm not like a crazy amount of help, but I love just sharing that and streaming it. It's fun for me. So, and that's something like I can do all the time and I love it. I love doing it. And if I'm doing it, then I'm thinking like, well, I may as well share it because I like doing that too. Why not stream it? And then that progresses my channel as well. So it's kind of like a win-win for me. But then the other half of that is there's so many things like Guild Wars is very specific, but there's so many other things that I love on the side of that. And it's hard to put in like how much I love sharing just things that don't seem related. The key of the relation, each thing that I share, the relationship that they have to each other is me. I realize that. When I post things, <laughs> I'm doing this like a, like some sort of president or something. Uh, yeah, so posting things for me, it's like, it's becoming, I, it's, it's sort of like a realization that I had. It's like, I love posting everything that I come into contact with, like my life, that the things I do, like surfing, um, gaming, obviously, going out to eat, which is rare, and usually only with my girlfriend or a couple friends that I have. Um, oh, he has friends? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Just like different things that I do, um, just random things like, you know, when you just have like have an idea for a video and you want to do it. Like recently I posted, this is, this video is way too long, but I, I posted like a, 
a kiwi video like how to cut you like is this how you cut your kiwi i just had that thought when i was about to cut a kiwi and i was like babe can you record me doing this like cutting the kiwi and then i want to post it and that's like that was my thought process like does anyone else cut kiwi like this and i wanted to share it and like put some music with it and stuff and it was fun so fun to make that video and that video did pretty well that was what <laughs> like i put that on tiktok and that was one of the best videos that i've had recently but anyway like just we're, we're I think I keep just keep getting off topic but um, the point is I, I do this Guild Wars stuff and I want to do that all the time because it's like one of my passions and then the other the other half is just gonna be I think me so that's I think what someone who's watching my channel should consider is do they like me because that's the stuff that I post and I don't want to limit myself just to make it a uh, more like you know cohesive business plan if that makes sense like I just want to have people subscribe if they like me or Guild Wars content I mean Guild Wars is also <laughs> me because I'm obviously baked into that that's like I talk through it I I'm filming through it so it's also me <laughs> so if you like me that's when you should subscribe if you like Guild Wars content, G Guild Wars content, can I even speak? If you like that, then, I mean, you can subscribe as well. It's not like, like, when I go into Guild Wars content, I'm, like, getting into all my other interests and hobbies and topics and stuff like that. So, that's, that can be very specific sometimes. So, it's, if you like Guild Wars content, then definitely subscribe. But if you like me, that is when you should really subscribe. But anyway, yeah, to... To get back to what I was talking about, I don't exactly know how I got into that topic, but yes, so coming is that, that bag video. Um, some other upcoming stuff is, I've got a few ideas in mind for uh, comparison with this bag and another bag. Um, we've got, I think, two Guild Wars videos coming up that I'm going to make, and yeah, the theme of my channel, that is pretty much now Guild Wars kind of centric and vlog centric the reason why I put vlog is obviously that whole thing whole spiel I had before about me my channel being about me or my you know my life I feel like the word vlog encompasses all of that so that's kind of what my channel is going to be about going forward and I can't really I mean I've tried to separate it out I don't know what it is about me like, my brain doesn't want to do it. Like, <laughs> I've tried to separate some of my stuff out into three channels. Even a vlog channel I tried to separate from this main channel. And I still didn't want to do that. So I just continued to post to my main channel. And um, I'm not going to lie, I'm still... I think I'm still workshopping on my official updated channel name. I am, like, trying to update and not rebrand, but, like, you know, get a more accurate representation of what my channel is about with my banner, my picture, and my name. I really like the name that I have now that I changed to, The Untamed Sensei, and that's kind of <laughs> a cool name that I thought was cool. What is one of the things I do the most is, like, play Guild Wars, my main character, like, my main class or whatever in Guild Wars, my main profession, <laughs> if we're going to get technical, is Ranger. And then there's this thing called an Elite Specialization, which any of you who don't watch my videos for Guild Wars will have no idea what I'm talking about. But basically, there's this thing called an Untamed, and I always play Untamed. So that's kind of where my name came from. I originally had the Vlog Sensei. I don't know if any of you saw this, but I changed a couple times. I, I had the Vlog Sensei then that name kind of limited me in my head. It was like, why am I named Vlog Sensei if I'm posting Guild Wars stuff as well? Like, it just didn't make sense to me. I feel like Untamed Sensei is okay. It's kind of obscure for people who are not Guild Wars fans, and people who are Guild Wars fans, it's more direct and obvious, like the name. So yeah, workshopping that, upcoming videos also, this is a question for any of my subscribers who are interested in like the backpack kind of stuff. 
So obviously I have the Arcos and I just released a video on that. Would anyone like to see a more in-depth look at all the pockets on that bag? Because I realized that there's a couple things, a couple nuanced things about the pockets that I didn't cover in my very first video about that. In my second one, I didn't do it either. I don't know why, dummy, but if you guys were interested in seeing something like that, let me know in the comments. Where was I? Anyway, so there's one more thing that I wanted to add to this channel that's not specifically me, and that is helping and like reorganizing my material to sort of fit the audience, like fit the new audience that I wanted to have, which is people who want to do travel vlogging and people who want to have like the lightest, easiest method to travel vlog or vlog in general because obviously as I said that's something I love to do so what I was getting at at the very beginning uh, when I like really got off track is what I was trying to say is my audience has become those people Guild Wars obviously but then also it's become like people who want to vlog more easily people who want tips on vlogging bags to vlog with what works what doesn't work what's the lightest because that's all my, that's like my essence for vlogging my like posting situation and like how to film and stuff I want to make it easy I want to make it so easy to do it I don't want to have to think about when or how or why not why but like how to do it why uh, how <laughs> what am I saying okay I just want to make it easy to vlog that is the point easy for me to just whip out my camera and go when I want to and I have like I want to I always want to use like a nice camera that's my thing but I do have often my iPhone there ready to go if that's what I have or if it's easier then I do it so that's the thing like whatever's easier so that's sort of the content that's kind of being rearranged and resorted on my channel and that's where my aim for my audience is going that and then Guild Wars. So it's it's a lot more specific than it used to be, even though it is about me, like it's my channel, it's about me, my stuff, my life, but content that I wanna post, like this stuff, like explainer or helper videos, I don't even know, is that what they're called, helper videos? Those are the people that I'll be targeting with my videos, people who want that content. If something helps me to vlog easier, then that's when I want to share it to help you be able to vlog easier too. I feel like I ranted and kind of got a lot off track and topic enough, so I'm going to end the video here, but I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's joined the channel. I know I, I think I said that in the beginning, but just, you know, thank you so much for joining. And it makes me happy to see that a lot of people are interested in my content this this is like 500 over 500 people now and maybe some people are just you know subscribing and not so like oh i love this guy like let's i'm gonna watch him every time like that's fine like everyone everyone's like that you just subscribe for like one video see what they can do next you know but if you think about it that's like me standing in a room of over 500 people and like giving a lecture or something <laughs> so that, that's a lot of people and I don't think I've ever done anything like that I've never been speaking to, like to 500 people like that I don't know if I could I mean I've, I've to be fair I have had some practice in my university speaking to larger groups of people but that's usually just my class so 500 people that's like a room full of people. That's like a big conference. Oh, not a, okay, conferences are huge, I guess. Not a big conference. That's like a small conference. That's a lot for me. But yes, anyway, I'll see you in my next video. I'll stop talking now. And uh, have an amazing day or night or evening, afternoon, wherever you are.